Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be another edition of Will I Buy It? Basically the weekly series here on my channel in which every single week I talk about the new makeup releases and we discuss whether or not we want them and why. This is inspired by Samantha March's series of the same name and I do this series every single Sunday and I love it because I mean it's so much fun to talk about new makeup so that's why we do it here on my channel. Let's start off with arguably the most noteworthy launch of this entire week. Jeffree Star's drop of the summer 2019 collection for Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Now this this is Jawbreaker themed, and in the words of Trend Mood, it is in a bright neon chartreuse packaging. So this is the collection right here. It consists of one Jawbreaker eyeshadow palette with 24 shades, which is going to be retailing for $58, a mini breaker first mini eyeshadow palette for Jeffree Star Cosmetics with nine shades, which is going to retail for $28, and a Brain Freeze Skin Frost palette, which is going to be $40. In addition to this, we have a velour liquid lipstick in several shades. They have a Yes Ma'am, a neon hot pink, purple Urkel, a bright lavender with glitter, bronze blood, a metallic rose gold, fully nude, a peachy warm nude, strawberry crush, a neon strawberry red, no offense, which is an acid chartreuse color. Also, they have lip ammunitions, which is his traditional bullet lipsticks that are going to be $18 each. Actually, each one of these lip products are going to be $18 each, but they have the shades of Jawbreaker, Glazed, Snow Cone, Yummy, Candy Freeze, and Brown Sugar. And then they also have some Velour Lip Scrubs and some Supreme Frost highlights. Notice I'm trying to skim because like, there is just so much and they also have like a lot of accessories, which I'm not too interested in or too interested in enough to talk about. So I'm not gonna be talking about those things. But I do wanna focus on the eyeshadow palettes. I will touch on the lip products in a bit, but the eyeshadow palettes, I mean, I do admit I was kinda a little bit let down by the gigantic palette because I mean, it's not that giant, but it is giant for Jeffree Star. It is the largest palette he's ever launched. I felt like it was a little bit too all over the place. I mean, I feel like at a t there was a time that I would have been all over a colorful palette such as this with so many different colors and so many different shades. And I do like the ratio between colorful shadows in here and neutrals. However, it is just so all over the place. I kind of like these days I like to see a theme with eyeshadow. I don't want to see eyeshadows go all over the place in terms of colors. I just want to see like a set theme that sort of helps me create a look if there's like some sort of like a rhyme or reason to the eyeshadows. I will say that I do love the nine pan eyeshadow palette a lot better. I feel like it would have been so much more fun. However, if they had taken out some of those like um, mustardy colors and replace them with some like char chartreuse shades because there's so much chartreuse, chartreuse themed in the collection but uh, there's not a lot of chartreuse eyeshadows so um, I would have liked to see more chartreuse in actual eyeshadow format particularly in the small nine pan eyeshadow palette um, but yeah I do like the nine pan eyeshadow palette a great deal more than the larger palette because of um, the fact that the smaller eyeshadow palette looks like it has some sort of a theme to it. However, the larger one is a little bit too overwhelming for me, in my opinion. Anyway, I have tried Jeffree Star's Lip uh, Velour Liquid Lipstick Formula before in the shade Mannequin, and I really like that formula. It's really good in my personal opinion. I mean, my favorite liquid lipstick in this launch is definitely the green color. Um, I don't know if I would ever wear that because I feel like when it comes to green lips, I'm a little bit cautious. I mean, watch me in like six months, that opinion might totally change. But um, yeah, I mean, I feel like the crowning glory, like the creme de la creme of this collection is the eyeshadow. Um, and will I be buying this? Definitely not, of course. Not only because I'm just sort of iffy about Jeffree Star Cosmetics in general, but also because I'm on my no buys. So there's that. I mean, it's an interesting collection. I think I would like to do a, a look inspired by one of these palettes, but uh, this is definitely not one that I would be interested in getting, even if I didn't have um, 
the bias against Jeffree Star, or even if I wasn't on my no buy, I still would not necessarily be interested in this collection because this is nothing that I don't have already in my own makeup collection. So Kylie Cosmetics and Khloe Kardashian are collaborating for a round three of makeup. They have previously collaborated two times, now they're coming out with um, several things. The collection will include an eyeshadow palette, a highlighter, and a few lip products as well. Now, I like, see, here's my thing about like these collaborations between Kylie Jenner and her sisters. I mean, I like the idea that she's collaborating with her sisters. I think it's nice. It offers plenty of opportunity for different uh, points of view when it comes to makeup because I do feel that each of the Car Jenner sisters has their own unique sense of style. So it's nice to see all that um, in a collection. But if I'm being very honest, I'm just kind of like, I'm, I'm bored. I don't want to see another collaboration with Kylie Jenner and her sisters because, because we've already seen this before so many times that I'm kind of bored by it. And this eyeshadow palette is definitely not interesting to me whatsoever. It just looks so neutral that I just don't want it. So yeah, this is not interesting to me whatsoever. However, if you do find yourself interested in this collection, this is going to be available on June 14th. L'Oreal has revealed their summer collection, which is this one right here. This collection consists of a few lip glosses, a bronzer, a blush, and a body luminizer. This is going to be limited edition and it's a Walmart exclusive. I am not interested in this. I'm just not. I mean, I love a good drugstore product and I feel like I really want to get back into the drugstore when I get out of my no buy, but I am just not interested in this. And also like L'Oreal, I mean, they've always been like one of the higher uh, priced drugstore brands, but I mean, this bronzer is like $15. The lip gloss is $10 each. Uh, let me see, how much is the blush? The blush is $10. The body luminizer is $15. I'm sorry, but like I, I find that whenever you have, like whenever I see drugstore brands price their products so high, I just get like turned off by it. For me, drugstore is $10 and under. It's not something that's like closer to $20, you know? And plus when you pay like taxes, it's going to be like higher than that, you know? So like this is not interesting to me. Sephora Collection and Lily Lashes are collaborating and this is the collection right here. They have a lip set, a 3D mink lash in Miami, which I believe is Lily Lashes signature style. They also have a top coat gloss and a face palette. I think the thing in this collection which is really standing out to me would be the false lashes because Miami is such an iconic uh, style for Lily Lashes. A lot of influencers and a lot of beauty gurus really do like that lash style. But I feel like the uh, lip gloss is also really interesting as well. It's that like little nudie clear one at the far right. But I am not like altogether like really interested in this collaboration. I'm just, I mean, if you like Lily Lashes, um, then you might find yourself intrigued. And I will say that Sephora Collection is in my mind one of the more underrated brands sold at Sephora, strangely enough, because they have like good stuff. I mean, I've tried like not a lot of their stuff, but I tried a few of their items and I really do like what they put out. Um, for the most part. I mean, I haven't tried everything, but like what I've tried, I really did like. Also, my sister has like their concealer and she like completely used it up. I think she really enjoyed it. Um, so this is like, in my mind, it's like a nice collaboration, but it's not like a nice collaboration. Do you, do you get what I mean? I'm just not inspired by this. And if I'm not inspired by a product, I don't want it. Dominique Cosmetics, owned by Kristen Dominique, is coming out with a summer collection. Now, the palette in this collection is going to be called the Rustic Glam Eyeshadow Palette, and this is a picture of it, and then they also have some eye brushes as well. Now, uh, admittedly, for some reason, I mean, I will tell you the reason, but I was kind of interested like in the eye brushes a great deal more <laughs> than the eyeshadow palette, because I feel like the eye palette. It is something that I already have in my collection. In order to dupe this palette, all I need to do is take a few warm tones, which can be found in 
virtually so many palettes and I also have to take like a little bit of like blue eyeshadow, a little bit of green and a little bit of purple and I'm all set to dupe this palette. So I do not need this palette. This palette doesn't particularly inspire me. So this is going to be a pass. However, the eyeshadow brushes, they do look quite interesting. And I think um, almost every single eyeshadow brush in here is a brush style that I already find myself very much drawn to. So yeah, the brushes I'm interested in and how much are the brushes? The, um, the brushes are going to be $12 each or $45 for the five-piece bundle. Not bad. Not drugstore prices, but then again, this is Dominique Cosmetics. The um, eyeshadow palette, it is going to be $44. And then suddenly it got super dark in here. Okay, yeah. But yes, I am interested in the uh, brushes. I don't think I'll get them for obvious reasons, but the eyeshadow palette... Not so much. This next launch right here is from Milani, another drugstore brand. Now, Milani is launching two 16 shadow eyeshadow palettes for $19.99 each. Um, but there are two eyeshadow palettes. One is going to be called the Gilded Noir palette, and then one is called the Gilded Rouge palette. So the Gilded Noir has the black cover, the Gilded Rouge has the red cover. Whew, I think that um, Gilded Rouge also has pressed glitters, so if you're interested in that, you know, that's a factor in these palettes. I have never tried any Milani pressed glitters. Why did it get so light in here? That is annoying. But yeah, I haven't really tried any of the Milani pressed glitters. I don't even think I've tried the Milani eyeshadows, but um, I actually really do like Milani's face products, which... Um, I mean, I usually can't say for every brand uh, because usually I'm into eyeshadows, but when it comes to face products, Milani does really well. Eyeshadows, I have no idea, so I can't really talk about that effectively, I think. But the color scheme is interesting. In my mind, this color scheme is for a neutral lover looking for something new and fresh. If you're somebody that has a ton of neutral palettes in your collection and you're just looking for something to add value to your collection, if you're looking for something that may or may not be a little bit um, adventurous for you, this might be a good option. However, am I interested in this? Uh, no. Also, it's $20. I mean, $20 for 16 shadows, not bad. And Milani usually brings a lot of quality to the table, so... There's that, but at the same time, $20. But then again, it's not that bad. It's 16 shades. So, you know, you gotta weigh the pros and cons here. But, um, yeah. Is this a palette that I would like? Definitely not, but I will... I do see this being a palette that people... Or being palettes that people find appealing. Becca does have something called the Afterglow palette, which is a... Face palette? For $44. These pans are tiny. Is this like for like a travel palette or something? Like, I don't mm, I don't get it. Like, okay, Becca is a brand that I just don't find myself that interested in. I've spoken about this several times, and it's not Becca's fault. It's just that I don't find myself interested in Becca these days. Like I I only know I only owe <laughs> Can't speak. I only own one Becca product and uh, that's it. Not getting another one. Um, and yeah, I think that this is just very limiting in terms of the shade. I feel like this palette is just not practical in my personal opinion because the, sh like, the pans are so tiny. Like the pans are minuscule. Like, how do you, how do you apply this? I mean, maybe they're trying to go for, like, a travel-friendly palette. But, okay, here's, like, my possibly unpopular opinion, but I'm going to voice it nevertheless. If you are traveling with highlighter, blush, and bronzer, I assume you're going to be taking, like, a makeup case. So if you're taking, like, a makeup case or a makeup bag, wouldn't it just be easier to like fit in like maybe like a tiny highlighter but maybe like a full-size blush and bronzer 
I feel like that would be pretty easy. And I feel like if you're going to pack light, you're not gonna take like three different face products with you. You know what I mean? I feel like I might see what they were going for with this palette, but then at the same time, the pan sizes are so small, it kind of freaks me out. So this is a pass. So this is actually a palette that I'm really excited for. And if I was not on my no buy, I just might consider, I just might have considered getting this because this is so meaningful and it's so beautiful like I really do like this launch this is a collaboration but between Stylart Stylazzi Sty Stil Stilazzi Stilazzi am I pronouncing it right I hope so and Jordan Liberty now this is called the dark room eyeshadow palette it is an eyeshadow palette that consists of 18 shadows now Jordan Liberty is a makeup artist and photographer that I absolutely admire. I believe that he has overcome cancer twice and he is so humble and so artistic and so talented and I find so much inspiration in his work. And I follow him on Instagram and I absolutely love the way he does makeup. It's very... Um, touchable. It's very, I feel like, approachable. It's very, in his own way, avant-garde in the way he uses textures and uh, the way he applies makeup almost in a minimal way but a very impactful way. I think that his makeup style is so uniquely his that I really do admire it for that. So Trend Mood did put in a quote from Jordan Liberty himself and it goes like this. The name bears such special meaning for me, not just because it references my work as a photographer. The entire project is a celebration of my life after cancer, beauty coming out of darkness. The shades are all inspired by my world tour, meeting followers and fellow artists around the world. This is just, I think, a wonderful launch and I'm not even talking about the meaning behind the palette, I'm talking about the actual palette itself. The palette looks beautiful. Yes, there are some neutrals in here, but I do feel that there are so many more unique shadows in here that um, really reflect his makeup style and really cannot be found in a lot of other palettes. So I really do like this launch a lot. I feel like this is a launch that I'm really excited for. I'm truly inspired by it. And I feel that um, this is just such like a beautiful launch as well. Like, there's so much meaning behind it. And also like the product itself looks fantastic. And why did my phone just fall? Thank you. This is, yeah, I was just having you know, filming a video, doing my own thing, and my phone just decides to fall down. Okay. All right, so this is another launch from an indie brand. This is from Andy Candy Makeup, and the highlighter that they're launching right here is called the She Is Bella Highlighter, and it's launching on June 15th. Now, here's my thing with highlighters such as this. I just don't like them. I don't like having um, a face product that has, like, separation of colors with no actual separation. I, I find it very confusing when you have like different colors of product in one pan. I just find this kind of format a little bit confusing and I'm not a big fan of it. However, I do want to spotlight the special meaning behind this product. This is basically uh, named after a special friend of the founder. I'm getting this from Andy Candy Makeup's Instagram page. And it is, it says that the highlighter is named after a special friend at diva underscore geek 85 and is dedicated to all you beautiful souls living your truth. It is going to be available June 15th. And then below the post they have hashtag trans is beautiful, hashtag transgender, hashtag trans flag. They're basically trying to promote trans rights with this highlighter, which I think is beautiful. However, just because a product has like a cause attached to it that I personally really find myself believing in doesn't mean I'm automatically going to absolutely love the launch, absolutely love the product. I'm looking at the makeup side of things and as a makeup product I'm not a fan of this. The indie brand Sample Beauty is launching several new palettes made up of 10 pans each. They have like this really beautiful rosy tone palette. They also have like a neutral brown palette which is this one right here mixed in with a little bit of gold and then they also have a cool tone palette and then they also have 
let me pull this up, a rainbow palette, which is going to be called the Immensity palette. Now, I will say that I feel that these palettes are great if you have like a hole in your collection and that hole might include a need for golds, a need for rose tones, a need for more cool tones or rainbow colors. These palettes, I feel like, cater towards those holes in one's makeup collection, which is great. However, I don't have those holes in my collection, so this is not going to be something that I'm going to be getting or that I'm really interested in. So this is going to be a pass. However, I do appreciate the condensed version of an eyeshadow palette in which you have like very specific themes. I find that that's really refreshing. I like seeing that. And I feel like it does save the consumer money because you're able to get exactly what you want. We're seeing a lot of rainbow palettes launching this month in general with like ties to Pride and Pride Month. And Midas Cosmetics is launching the Love is Love palette and it will retail for $26 and 5% of the proceeds will go towards the Trevor Project. The palette itself has seven mattes and five shimmers. And I mean, I think that this is a pretty palette. I like the cause. The Trevor Project has been a mainstay in a lot of um, launches because a lot of brands are donating towards it. And I think that's beautiful. I think that's great. However, is this a palette that I need? No. Nomad Cosmetics is also launching this palette right here, which is called the Tokyo Harajuki palette. It is available now for $37, and this is pretty much it right here. I mean, there are lots of metallics in here, lots of mattes. I do like the pas pas pastel, pastel nature of this. I like having like those light colors. I like it a lot. I feel like it's kind of cool, and I really... I'm kind of drawn to it, I do admit. This might be one of my favorite launches in this entire video, probably my favorite launch in this entire video, because yes, there are different colors in here, but it's a pastel theme, and there are a few like mid-tone shades in here, but everything fits so well, and this palette just... The packaging looks really cute, the eyeshadow looks really cute and interesting, and the actual formula does look really um, interesting as well, and I really do like the swatches. So. This is a palette, probably my favorite palette in this entire video. That is pretty much the end of this video. Those were all the launches that I wanted to talk about this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and found it interesting. Let me know what you think of these launches down below and I'll get back to you. I mean, I really do like the launch from Nomad Cosmetics. I feel like that's really interesting, but I also would love to get you, your guys' opinion on the new Jeffree Star collection because I feel like that will be getting a lot of um, a lot of feedback as well. I feel like a lot of people will uh, go ahead and get that palette. I mean, obviously I won't, but I'm curious to see your opinions and your thoughts on these collections. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. But without further ado, I do have to go and drink my coffee, so I'm just going to sign off right now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.